Hello! Today I'm cleaning an apartment for a mother and son in England. The apartment is full of fruit flies, dresses, rotten food and dirty clothes. And yes, I'm helping this family for free. Because the mother was so brave that she asked for my help. I'm Auri Katarina and I'm the best cleaner in the world. Today I'm not cleaning alone. I have my fiancé with me. Or should I say ex-fiancé because we broke up soon after this trip. Some of you may know this already, but for those who don't know, we broke up like three months ago, I think. I'm so super curious myself, and I always want to know why people broke up. So, I'm gonna tell you my side of the story in this video. Now I'm just super happy that we are helping this mom. Oh, she had tried to clean. You can see that. Oh, wow, a lot of lime scale and dust. My favorite ones. <laughs> Coming up in this video. Before I tell you more about me and my breakup, let's get back to the mom. Yes, because that's why we are here. One more thing before I tell you about the mom and my breakup. Even though I'm now single, there is one man in my life. Or should I say daddy? Because I mean scrub daddy, of course! <laughs> Speaking of which, lovely scrub daddy UK sponsored our trip here to England all the way from Finland. Can you imagine? Isn't that super cool? Scrub Daddy sponsored our hotels, flights, everything, so we were able to travel here to help this mom. Their products are high quality and fun, but they are also a great company. Scrub Daddy UK team are wonderful and fun to chat with. I can always ask him to send for any products and as many of them as I want. And also, they just sent me as a surprise a pink scrub daddy hoodie and a top. They don't tell me what products to use or what to say. Instead, they give me all the freedom to act. And I like freedom. I want to focus on these cleanings 100%. And I couldn't handle it if someone told me what kind of dirt it should be and what to say and blah blah blah. Scrub Daddy is the best partner and guess what? Next day and Cine Cleaning, my other sponsor, are flying me, me and my brother to Germany to clean. I'm living my dream. Like literally. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hey, by the way, for this shower glass door, I'm using oven cleaner because there was so much grease. Usually shower glasses has grease and lime scale and those dirt are like opposite. So that's why I'm using first oven cleaner, which removes grease. And after that, I'm using acid-based toilet bowl cleaner which removes lime scale, but you should never ever mix those two chemicals because that could be dangerous. The toilet bowl cleaner is a gel, so it stays in place, but there is so much of lime scale and I don't have so much time. That's why I was scraping it off. And now it's clear, voila, it's super simple. Sometimes, if I have time, I wrap the whole glass, so it's like affecting there and the lime scale will melt. But sometimes, if I'm in a hurry, I just scrape that off and I'm using a steel laddie. 
I'm using it really gentle because first it scrubs only the lime scale off, so it's super handy. These showers in here in England, they are fun. <laughs> they look so different than in Finland. <laughs> Yes, let's clean the rest of the bathroom. Here again I'm using Steel Daddy because it rubs all the lime scale off. As you can see this tab is really grey, so soon it will shine. Can you guys see the black dots on silicone? Yes you can't remove those. If you have silicone and it has some black dots, you have to change the silicone. Because silicone it's like plastic so it absorbs the, those black things inside it, so you cannot remove those. But for example here when you have tiles and then you have grout between, then you can scrub everything off with Scrub Daddy or Steel Daddy, sorry. <laughs> and to -do -do, more lime scale. Okay, here I can't scrape this off because there are some dots, or I don't know how to call it. Uh, that's why I'm using acid based toilet bowl cleaner and I'm sitting, sitting there. And after that, I'm scrubbing it with Steel Daddy. Yes, again with Steel Daddy, not regular Scrub Daddy. Because Scrub Daddy is soft, it doesn't like scratch anything, and it's a great product. But for lime scale, I'm always using Steel Daddy. Because it's super hard, and voila! Look at this, so clean! Next, some dirty clothes. And yes, her son is super young. Small. The mom has tried to clean. As you can see, she has tried to mop her floors and clean everything, but it's just hard. She had been in an abusive relationship, but was able to escape from it. Still, it's not easy to just start a new life without any trauma. So yes, the trauma followed her. Little by little, their home ended up in chaos. Even though this bathroom isn't that bad, it's like normal bathroom. Sometimes your home is dirty and there is lime scale and blah blah blah, so... It's not that serious, but I mean... Uh, their kitchen is pretty bad and the mom just kept the door closed because she didn't want to see that Like there was so much trash. She just dumped their their trashes and tried to survive When we arrived here she felt so ashamed and she didn't want to see the kitchen. She was like no 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 Ooh, are you sure you want to open the door and when I showed her some pictures of me with the trash and so on she was like oh my god I can't look like normally these people they they don't like like the filth if you know what I mean they are usually disgusted by it Sometimes people think that these people are messy and they they don't care about the mess and filth and da 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 But that's not true at all Sometimes these people put the lights off, they don't go some rooms in their home And they are just... but they feel really overwhelmed They can't just clean, they, they close their mind, they close their eyes they are just hoping that it goes away. So that's why it's easier if I'm helping them. Like, because for me, this is nothing. I can do it 
really easily and it helps so much these people they have a new fresh start for example this mom now she knows what to avoid or, and how easily the home ended up in chaos so it's like they they are getting new chance by the way here I don't have a floor drain but still it's really easy to clean it you have asked me how would I clean the floor which don't have floor drain so I just pour water and some soap then I brush it then I wipe it then I clean the crowd with steel daddy and voila look at this it's so pretty and then Sami is fixing the I don't know what to call that <laughs> Toilet paper holder, maybe. Woo! It's fixed. Good job. Then I bought this one, and Sami is adding some toilet paper. And I bought this one, or oh, scrapped it. UK bought it. <laughs> oh, now the toilet is clean. Woo! -hoo. Here comes the amazing before and after pictures. And next. Let's go to the living room because it's super duper dirty. Yes, there is a lot of surprises. Now the Scrap Daddy UK team is helping us. Look how many fruit flies is there. There was Alice and Joby with us and they wanted to help. They had never been in a house like this. Wow! Look at this! Oh my god, I just love it! So much mold! Ooh, super satisfying! Gave them a pink pair of gloves and then they started to empty this table. <laughs> Alice also wanted to wash it, or I asked, do you want to wash the table? And she was like, yes! She's using power paste and scrub, mommy. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Let's see how she wipes it. Pretty good technique, yes? Looking good. At least it's now bright. Then we put it upside down and then Alice re is repeating the same thing for the other side. I just sprayed some... I don't remember what product. <laughs> but Because power paste is kind of dry so you have to remember use a lot of water or you can use some kind of neutral spray with it so it's easier to spread it. Good work, Alice. Good work. Now let's see what we have in here. Oh, more trashes, I think. Or what is that? I don't know. Oh, it's a, it's a rug. <laughs> I think we are going to put it in place somewhere. And there was a ma mug and some trashes. Ooh. Okay, let's clean this chair with Cine's kitchen cleaner and scrub mommy. And after that, I think I could tell you more about my breakup. Here Sami is collecting all the clothes. We don't know exactly if they are dirty or not, but we are collecting all the clothes into these clear bags. We don't have time to wash them, so unfortunately, oh, maybe, oh, there's some here. Maybe we, we could wash them, but we don't have any space to dry them. That's, that's usually the problem. But yeah, Sami is super sweet because he has been with me in these cleanings many times and I truly appreciate that. 
Probably not many men would help me clean these apartments for free, but Sami was always excited to come along. He was always helping me with the lights, installing things and just... He was like my handyman and of course he cleaned. He usually washed the dishes, collect all the clothes, collect dresses and so on. So super nice. But unfortunately, even though he is a really good guy, sometimes that's just not enough. We broke up like three months ago, I think. And I didn't tell that publicly immediately because it felt better to keep it private for some time. If you know what I mean. The breakup was mostly my decision, or it was my decision, but there wasn't any drama. I just felt like we were too different. Sami thought that we were different in a good way, but I saw that we weren't. Like I told you, I like freedom. <laughs> I am super free soul and I like to do things on my own. Sami likes to do all the things together, but I like to spend time alone a lot and travel alone, <laughs> do like things on my own. Yes, that's who I am. I don't really dream of buying a big, big house, having kids or dogs or both, <laughs> or really anything like that. And I realized that with Sami, because I felt like he's opposite. I noticed that I dream more and more of dirty houses all over the world, traveling on my own, maybe moving to another country, Having the freedom to do anything, like anything. Because just now I feel like the whole world is open for me. And at the same time, I felt bad if my decisions would affect someone else. Because I don't mean anything bad. I felt like Sami wanted not immediately, but settle down and build a life together. I just want to be free to do anything I want. Even though I'm not doing anything. <laughs> but I just like the feeling that I can. And of course I felt bad because I felt like we want different things and he didn't. But still, I'm super thankful for him and that he has helped me so, so much. And I have done the same thing for him. If you have watched my videos, you have seen Sami many, many times. Because he has been here since beginning. We were together for almost two years and we're about to get married in summer 2020. No, sorry, 23. <laughs> but I had to cancel it all because it just felt wrong. And I just feel that there is a better partner for Sami. Yes. Every week when I'm driving somewhere, I ask myself if I'm happy and satisfied with my decisions. If I die today, Yes, I'll ask that question every week. If I answer no, something needs to be done and changed. I thought about this breakup for a while, but I knew it had to be done. I feel like I'm not the right partner for Sami, and he's not for me. And I'm not afraid to make changes in my life or start something new. Even if it would have been easy to stay because everything was basically fine. I don't want that kind of life. I want the best for myself 
and that's why I dared to leave even though it wasn't easy at all. I have felt guilt and cried many many times after, but I know still deep down that this decision was the best for us. From now on I try to focus on cleaning, sport, friends and family. I don't wanna find anybody because dating takes time and I don't have it right now. Seriously. Mm. I wanna be single as long as I can. Yes. Okay, now let's clean the rest of the living room. And after that we have the bedroom because it was super dirty and there is a little tiny friend you might want to see. Wait for it. I start cleaning this bedroom by collecting all the clothes. Again, I have no idea are these dirty or not, but I'm collecting all of them. Almost done. There was also some trash. Sometimes it's hard to know is it something trash or not. So <laughs> sometimes I think I'm throwing something away, but I try to think is this important for the resident or not. For example, here most of these things are clothes, but like this, I, I, I don't know. Is it trash or not? <laughs> Usually if I'm not sure, I'm not throwing that away. But of course it helps if I'm getting rid of all the trashes and the residents don't have to do that. But like I said, sometimes I just don't know. This is a common thing that people eat in their bed and then they throw the trashes between the wall and the bed and there is some nice prizes. Sometimes when I see a lot of junk food things, aww, wow, <laughs> uh, yeah when I see junk food here I feel like I can feel their depression when they are eating in their bed, maybe they are binging and they just feel terrible. But that's okay, that's life. And now things are changing. This rug was pretty dirty, so I'm brushing it with dish brush, yes. Try that because it's super handy tool when you when I like fresh the carpet or a rug. Of course you can fresh your uh, 
carpet <laughs> also but uh, the dishbrush is super tiny so that's why it's pretty slow so that's why I'm using it only with rocks you may not see it but this floor is pretty dirty so I'm using Simi's kitchen cleaner because it removes grease and stains and after that I'm just wiping it. I'm surprised that this house doesn't have or this apartment doesn't have carpets like floor carpets like whole floor carpets. I'm really surprised because I thought everybody in England had those. <laughs> but it's good that, that this mom did it. Super duper satisfying. Okay, let's see if we have friends here. Do, do, do. Yes, we do! <laughs> Did you saw? It fell down. Oh, a tiny spider. <laughs> Okay, look at this chair. It should be white white, but it's kind of gray. It's dirty looking, so I'm using power paste because power paste remove all kinds of dirt. It's super safe and ecological product, so you can try it with any kind of stain. I changed my tool to Steel Daddy because Steel Daddy scrubs more like harder. So more power paste. And it already looks really good. Yes, it's white again. Good job. Now Sami is cleaning the floor. He's spraying kitchen cleaner and then He'll let it sit there for a while, well, blah, 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 for a while, uh, like five minutes or so, and then he was using the scraper, and now all the stains are gone. Woo 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 woo! <laughs> okay, this kid's room was pretty sad, so Sami's emptying the whole room so we can clean the floor and wipe every surface. Now he's making the bed. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> okay guys are you ready to see the before and after pictures because i am wow i'm so impressed 
we cleaned here like two days and it was so wonderful no sorry three days it was such a wonderful trip hey see you next time bye bye and if you know somebody who has a dirty house please send me pictures of it to my email auri.kananen at gmail.com see you bye